Hello, this is Winders Ranger again. Decided to post a video of a solar generator that I put together. And I took several ideas from a lot of different places. Uh, some doing some internet searching. Some of the other ideas came from various videos that I've seen of similar setups on YouTube. Kind of compiled uh, several different ideas into one setup of my own design. And I ended up going with a green plastic ammo can that I ordered out of Cabela's. And uh, I chose the size that I did so I could actually upgrade this system and put two batteries on the inside. As opposed to right now I only have one. And I ended up using, uh, forgive me for the, the, I don't have the exact specifications right in front of me. But it's, it's basically a battery from a uh, powered wheelchair or... Uh, a scooter or something like that and I just laid it on its side and set the power to come in through a cord from the solar panel which would plug into the side of the box here through a I guess you'd call it a water resistant plug goes in goes directly to the charge controller which is a Renogy I think I'm pronouncing that correctly charge controller and then it goes to the battery and then from the battery to the master switch which turns on the system with a LED uh, readout of the voltage of the battery system here and then each one of these ports has their ind own individual switch so I can isolate the power so I'm not wasting energy going to one or the other when it's not necessarily being used I can cut one of those out if need be. On this side we have a 12 volt cigarette plug where I can also set in adapters and things to go to other appliances if I need to. And on the other side is a 1 amp and a 2.1 amp USB charger. The idea behind this is a trip that I'm going to take this summer. Um, we're going to be not necessarily off the grid, but I, I won't have the availability to charge uh, my cell phone, GoPro camera, a few other things. I'm going to try to take along the computer to edit videos. And not having reliable power source other than the 12-volt system of the vehicle, which isn't going to be running all the time, I came up with this system so I can charge things and not have to start the vehicle to charge things or run the battery down on the vehicle without having it running. Over here is a 10 watt solar panel. This is a mono crystalline solar PV module. And uh, I got it off of Amazon. It's, like I said, it's a mono crystalline panel. And uh, what they advertised through Amazon and what I got ended up being two different things. But uh, I think this is good enough for now. It's Again, I set this system up to where it's upgradable. I can, I can change things, upgrade the panel to a bigger panel in the future if I need to. And add a second battery to my battery system. On the inside here, it's kind of a nest of wires. But uh, you can see the battery here. It's a model number UB12. 180. I think it was a, I want to say an 18 volt, I think, or I'm sorry, 12 volt, uh, 18 amp, I think is what it was. It has pin, uh, flat pin terminals on both sides, but they have a hole in there, so I just used a bolt on either side to attach my uh, leads coming off the negative and the positive side. And of course, there is the charge controller. I've got the terminal bus behind that, in between that and the battery, and these are the two cutout switches for the USBs underneath. This is my master switch, and of course that is the uh, voltage readout of the battery system. And uh, on this side is the automotive plug. Let's see if I can open that so you can see it. The lighting's terrible, I know. But um, the idea with that was I could plug the solar panel into that and not have to open the box. Plus, 
I on the other side it had another lead here which I use the other end of the plug to plug into the system so I can take all this apart relatively easily if I have to mainly to remove the battery if I should have to remove it for one reason or another and as I said to uh, upgrade the system in the future I can stand the battery up on its end stack another battery next to it and link the two together and wire it into the system and get double the uh, amp hours out of what I have now but that's my system and uh, I've tested it out seems to work okay so we will see how it does on the trip I will give you an update in the future and let you know how it performed thanks for watching